This year, when you get your ballot, you're going to notice there are 12 amendments to vote on. And, you know, they're always confusing to read. But this year, it's a little bit different because they're grouped together and some really don't make sense. I'm going to point out to number nine. Look, it prohibits offshore oil and gas drilling, but it also prohibits vaping in the workplace. How are those two related? And what if you agree with one and not the other? What do you do? It's a question I put to voters at the Supervisor of Elections office today. They read through some of the amendments and everyone we talked to was a bit confused. That's just ridiculous to me that um, they don't have two amendments for that. And it's not just a question on vaping and offshore drilling. Look at Amendment 6. It includes two issues as well. It would create a constitutional right that would protect crime victims. But to vote yes, you would also have to agree to raise the mandatory retirement age of state judges. So, of course, I wanted to talk to the supervisor of elections, Mike Hogan, about the confusion surrounding the constitutional amendments. Well, he told me he was advised by the state division of elections not to comment at all on these amendments. Many of the constitutional amendments were added to the ballot by a state commission. It meets every 20 years to update Florida's constitution. We talked to UNF professor Mike Bender about the confusing amendments. Bender says in most states the amendments would deal with just one issue but not Florida. They didn't want there to be a hundred things for people to vote on, so they tried to combine some of them. Uh, I don't know that that was the right thing to do. Uh, in fact, it was probably the wrong thing to do for, from a voter's perspective, um, but, but that's where we are now, and, and ballots are in the mail, and people are going to have to vote on these things. Bender adds that some people will get confused when they vote on these issues and therefore might vote against their true preferences. Jim Piggott, Channel 4, The Local Station. And that's why political observers advise it's important to read the ballot before going to the polls. Right now, we have all of the amendments on the ballot for you to look over. Just look for this story on the elections section of news4jax.com.